this is a promise, this is a callback, and this is a software engineer who just learned both. Today, we are diving into the magical world of promises. Why? Because I've never used one before. But that's not a problem, because together we will conquer this. One then at a time. Okay, but let's get real for a second. Why should we even use promises when callbacks already exist? And that's the question I wrestled with for days, pouring over examples and endless discussions in coding forums. What in the world? But let me save you a lot of time and here's the result what I found. Regarding the error handling, callbacks can become nested and hard to debug very quickly. Code re readability is better in promises and the scalability becomes messier over time with callbacks as well. Callbacks might work, but they can spiral into chaos very quickly. Promises, on the other hand, bring order to the madness. Have you ever tried debugging this? I have. It's painful. And now let's see how promises solve this issue. At their core, promises are all about saying, I promise I will give you something later. And here is how it works. It does its thing asynchronously. So when it's done, you have two choices. It is resolved, so everything went great, or it is rejected, so something went wrong. And look at this code, see how clean it is? No crazy nesting. But wait, it gets better. Have you ever heard of async and await? Because they are like the magic wand of promises. So synchronous code runs line by line and blocks everything else. But asynchronous code allows other tasks to run while waiting. And when you use async and await, you are writing asynchronous code like it is synchronous code. Confused? That's beautiful. Let's look at the example. So look at that. It's readable, easy to follow and powerful. Okay, but why should you use promises at all? But first, let's take the time and reflect on how it feels like to be appreciated and liked. If you haven't liked the video, you unfortunately cannot participate in this experiment. But I can tell you how I feel. I am bloody lucky to have you guys on my team. If you ever struggled with nested callbacks, broken error handling or code that looks like spaghetti, promises are your escape hatch. And promises are not only to make the code look cleaner, but also to have you as a developer being more efficient. And when paired with this asynchronous await, they transform the way you handle asynchronous tasks. So what are you waiting for? I have actually in the description a small self-test for you to try out if you really understood promises. But I will promise you I will post another video on this channel next week. And if you want to see it, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. So. Happy coding, see you next time, until then, peace out.